It's Joe, and this is my next project. Here we are, the big Saturday morning roof do-over. Now, if you were here last week, you already admitted that I screwed this up. I screwed it up because the part that I liked at the top, I ignored that and lined up the bottom here. And I'm gonna change all that. That's what's happening today. And, you know, I think about this car and I've thought about this car for a long time. And uh, most of the stuff is just zen. Just go right to it, wake up, put the two pieces together. Tab A fits in slot B. But I haven't thought in depth how to do this. I have now. I've lost sleep over it. And I've got a new piece. If you weren't here, I chopped this thing to pieces. And I chopped off the good part I liked, and I kept the secondary part, and I concentrated on the secondary instead of the first. Well, I've got a new piece of rubber here. Brand new used bumper. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna chop it up. <laughs> I'm gonna be more delicate as we go about it. And another thing that I haven't thought of I, I just haven't given much thought. I've given thought to the car as a whole, but is this window opening here, right down through here. And all along, I have uh, had these Lincoln Town Car front fenders, and I bought the fenders. I went through the uh, u pullet yard. I looked at all this stuff that I thought would fit. I found one. That was going to be the one. And now that I get it on the car, I'm not sure if that's it or not. Let's have a look. And so, I just, I just don't have an idea that's going to be perfect for this. So, I'm going to try a lot of other things. We'll try some things right here. I cut some pieces out. I just reached over there and cut this piece out and we have to line up right here and we have to line up right here so let me see if i can do that with one hand there's that there's that and there what do you think i hate it i don't like it at all it has no character to it it just looked like exactly what I did. I reached over there and I just drew with a pencil. And uh, I don't like it. What do I not like about it? That's the question. I can't tell you what I don't like about it. That's a lot of times that's the hard part. I like this. I don't know what it is. I like it or I don't like it. And I can't point out exactly what it is. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm formulating an idea on what it is. Boy, this is really flat right through here, that whole piece. I didn't anticipate that being a problem. When I picked that Lincoln part, I anticipated that being a help. So we're getting rid of that, and that's gone. Next, I said, well, what if we, what if we bring this back like that? So. I get another sheet of paper and I do a similar thing. That's got to line up there. Let's just say right about there. This has to line up there, about like that. And, woo! <laughs> well, that's certainly something, isn't it? <laughs> I, I can't tell you what I like, but it's a, it's a little doom buggy-ish. It's a little fiberglass. It's a little, uh, gosh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It is different, but it's gone. Not using that. How about I needed something that I could just bend. I can bend this stuff. What is this stuff? Plumbers? I don't know if that's plumber's tape. It's thicker than plumber's tape. And what if we just stick it in the hole like that? and hang it right there. I like that pretty good. I 
like that. Let's get that in here. I like that. Let me turn that forward. I like that better. I think this top is going to look better if we have this curve. But what curve? We already had this fine thing here that I just drew. It's like I traced around a circle, almost. I just freehanded it. But there's another curve. And let me show you. And I'll show you what it is. It is this one. I've got this one right here. Let me line that up. This is, where's that? Where is that? There it is. Let me line that up, right? That's lined up there. And that's lined up there. Let me give it a couple of little tweaks where it lay down a little bit. There we go. <sighs> now I like that. I like that better. And boy, you really have to you really have to look at it with a critical eye because the paper's so white and the back is so dark color. And you just have to kind of imagine, but I like the shape of that. And the shape of that, I think, is some kind of French curve. I, I don't know what why the French curves are better than the American curves or the Italian curves or, you know, the Japanese curves. I, I, I don't know. But I'll tell you where I got this. You know, I get most of the stuff at the junkyard and I try to use, up, use the stuff that I find at the junkyard. And uh, I happen to have this fender. This is the very fender that that came off of. And this fits right here. And the reason I think it's better, I, the reason I think it's a better curve than the curve I can draw, which I could draw this, but I already, already own this. And this is a Lincoln fender and there's Lincoln engineers and designers that have designed this whole thing and you know they have done study of why this is such a better curve. So I think I can use this and this can go back and I'm gonna cut it something like this. And what's gonna happen here, let me put that back up there where we can see. Oh, um, I took it down in the first place. There we go, that there. And that there. We, we've talked about this band, and I'm getting rid of the band. I, I, I liked it, but I'm over it. It's, uh, I am over it. <clears throat> I'm gonna have another band. I'll make my own band that's gonna come around here, and it's probably gonna get narrow and come down to right here. Behind that is going to be this piece of metal that I'm gonna cut off the fender over there. And it is gonna be this edge here and this edge, let me show you this. You see how this overlaps this? It comes and goes up from there. I'm gonna do that again. Similar thing, some, somewhere in here. I think maybe right around in here. It's going to come up and start going back, and it's going to go like this. It's going to have that little uh, S curve there and go back behind this band or on top of the band, and the band will go back behind the rear window. That's today's two-year plan, and hopefully it won't take too long. I appreciate you guys coming this far with me, and... Uh, <clears throat> I know that it just screws up. I've never seen this done before, so I'm just feeling my way through it the best I can. I want everything to fit nice, like I think I can make this fit, and I think I can make it look right. It's not going to have all this 
cobby stuff on there. Also, I'm going to my other my other top over there is filled in here, and we talked about when I push this in that it goes up in here. I am going to slice it right down here, push it together, and cut it back up. It'll be kind of a V-slice to where the bending is done here. I'm gonna cut this out. I'll cut this out here too, to where just this flat part is gonna do the bending. And these will be V-cut and it'll come together. Hopefully I can keep that good and tight. I'm gonna practice on this one just to see if I can do it, to see how it reacts. And I'm gonna try to do it, I think right on this corner and right up to that hole there. There is a hole, there it is. Right up to that hole, I think. So uh, this is really a design challenge. I was thinking about what I was gonna say about this because sometimes I go over what I'm supposed to say in the car, in the truck. And when we put this window in, that's no design idea. I'm gonna cut all that stuff out. I'm gonna cut it short. We know it goes in the middle. It's gonna go up and down. I'm gonna find a nice spot, cut the hole, sink it in. But this, making this fit and look good, and this fit and look good, and the top fit and look good, that is what this channel's all about. It's about car body design. And if I can't do that, what am I doing with a car, with a design channel? Now, the whole deal is, the whole game is cheap local parts, build something badass. All right, I'm going to cut around on some of this stuff. And <clears throat> I'm not going to, um, I am going to shut you off now, but I'm going to bring you back. And if there's a place that I can put this camera on time lapse and watch this, because I know some of my videos are getting short and quick and don't show much action. And uh, hopefully uh, I can set it on a tripod and get it nice and uh, placed where you can see everything. <clears throat> And we'll just do it that way. I'll see you in just a minute. Hey, check it out. <laughs> Before I cut these things off, I just wanted you to see. I got it up there. I got it riveted together. Cut in the middle, riveted together, and just kind of threw it up there, put a few screws in it. But look at these flares there. And obviously, I'm not going to run that. But uh, I, I don't hate it. I, I'm excited about it. Maybe not for this car, but there, there's definitely something there. I don't know what it is, but uh, <laughs> that's, it looks like elephant ears from here, but from right about here, that's that's just not bad. I, I don't know where you go with that. <laughs> I just wanted you to see it. Hey, the top is kind of, cup's just sitting on there. I haven't aligned anything up. And we got that piece. It's gonna end up going on there, but. That, it's just, that's pretty dang cool. I like it. I like it. And I'm going to cut it off. Oh, wow. All right, I'm going to do some more lining. I'll be back here in just a minute. Hang in there.
All right, been cutting around on it. Got the new rubber bumper. Got the pie cut in the top. We got the HHR piece drawn out a little bit. And we got the old part of the uh, Lincoln fender. And then here's the new part. Here's what we're using on the new part. That's the back of the fender. Let me back out here. And it's interesting how long this can take sometimes. Because you draw it, you stand back, you like it, you don't like it, you look at it from a hundred different angles and at some point, you have to make a decision. That's just all there is to it. And I think I'm at that point. I think I've made a decision. I've cut this pretty close and I've left it a little ragged in here because when this band comes around right through here, I want this to fade into it. I want it to turn a little bit into it. Kind of like this line, maybe not exactly on that line. Also, what to do with this angle. This, this took a lot of uh, decision making and you know, choices, you gotta make choices. I wanna show as much of this plastic as I can get and that's about it. This, like on the other side, you can see, see that crease, that crease is right up just above here. And, man, I went through all different renditions of this to where this was going to come out and curve like this, and I couldn't make it get back into here. I had it curved where it would come down here. I didn't like that. I finally backed up, and this is my final answer, I think. I'm going to cut this here in just a minute. It's going to, we're going to cut it off right here. And... I'm gonna make this curve, this curve right through here, and it's gonna curve like this into this, right through there and around here and back. And that is, that is my final answer. I'm gonna cut this, this, and this, and we're gonna lay it all up there and see how that looks this is going to end up being pushed into there and it'll all this stuff's going to fit tight just hang in there trust me man trust me i'll be right back hang in there well that's about it most of the cutting is done had to commit this is the way i cut it it's going to lay flat around the back this will pull down flat, nice flat through there. The plastic's gonna pull up under here. And this side is gonna swoop down on top of the band. Actually, I think the band, the band is gonna come over the top of this because it'll be, it'll be thicker. But this is gonna come down and turn. So, that's, that's about, well, that's one side anyway. I'm gonna match the other side. And I know you guys have all seen the movie March of the Penguins. It's fixed to be March of the Pop Rivets. <laughs> It'll be good. Hey, thanks for tuning in.